What is going on everybody? Jaren here from Magna Home Solutions and boy it's been a long time since I've been on camera uh, doing a video for you guys. Life has been insane. Uh, I'll get more to it in my weekly blog which will be in the next video uh, I publish for you guys. But I actually wanted to reach a different crowd of people today. Um, I'm a, I go, I'm, I, regularly I go to the gym pretty much like three to four times a week um, I, I, as best as I can. Uh, so weightlifting and health and fitness has been something that I've always been intrigued in and I've always been a part of and today I'm bringing in a video and I want everybody's perspective on this because you guys uh, if you don't know I'm 24 years old so the way I speak a lot of people say I'm more, more mature for my age than what I getting involved in with business and owning my own studio or uh, running my own business and getting hopes to put together my own video game studio at such a young age um, might seem might make me seem like I'm a little bit older than I am, but no, I'm only 24. Uh, life has been uh, intense for me, let's say, but stuff like this, it's just like, I believe 100% in what happened should not have happened. Uh, I think it, what happened in the end is not even close to what um, should have happened to the person involved in this video, but basically, I'll actually, I'll, let, I'll just let you watch the video here. I'm gonna put the video on and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens here so we'll minimize that we'll get rid of my camera we're not gonna get rid of the display capture we're gonna get rid of my camera and we're gonna minimize this check this video out guys All right, so let's go back here and uh, go to the, this mode here for you guys. So isn't that messed up? Like, holy crap, man. I, I get more mad every time I watch this video, okay? Uh, and I did some digging into this one, and I normally don't get my head in, like, I don't stick my head into places it doesn't need to be. You know, I don't want to get involved in other people's mess. But this just really annoyed me, man. Because what I've learned about this situation is... And this is from the people at the gym because I watched this video and I was like, what the heck? I look online and I was checking things out and I was like, where did this happen? They were saying it's Canadian. So that makes us Canadians look bad and we're not bad people. I think Canadians are awesome. I have a different, um, as or, uh, a different envisionment in life. But yeah, like this just like really sucked for Canada to watch this because people in the fitness industry are going to see that. And obviously everybody knows Canadians are great, but this just like I hate when something bad happens. Anyways. I'm not patriotic, I just care about Canada being a nice place and people making it not a nice place like that makes me a little cheesed. Anyways, so my genuine thoughts on this, uh, what happened was the guy was uh, got a complaint because he was dropping the plates, okay? And that's fair enough, I get it, I understand. You know, gyms have rules, you gotta follow the rules uh, of the gym. Uh, he was lifting too much weight and I've done the same thing. Luckily, I, I go to Fit for Less and I don't drop the weights on the ground and just like, you know, let it, you know, you just don't do that. And if you do, they don't care because they're understanding that you're, you're there to get like healthy, fit, you're working towards your goals. Um, if you break it, you buy it kind of sense, I don't know. but. It's not bad. It's not, for what he's doing. It's not horrible. So they said he wanted to needed to put pads on the ground, and he was like, "Cool, whatever. I don't care. Sorry for doing whatever I did, and I'll use the pads. It makes sense." So he started to use the pads. Well, anyways, people were complaining, and this, as you saw in the video, this guy walks up to him, yelling at him to stop, and then he kicks down guys. So for those who are in 
weightlifting for those who know what <laughs> this could do to your body um like your back could get totally messed up man like you just envision this okay so you're in the zone he was so focused in what he was doing and this is how i am at the gym i like if i'm like benching or i'm like pulling the lats people are getting weirded out because i'm like staring i'm like looking at like a line in the wall and i'm just staring at that line in the wall and maybe i'm looking at people or if i'm looking at the cord in front of the machine you know i'm staring and people might think that's weird but i'm like whatever get out of my way i'm like here to do my thing and this is what this this is what this kid looked like he was doing i was like this guy's awesome look at his weights he's doing big things look at that guy and so you you see maybe in your peripheral someone's coming up to you and you're they're probably just asking you questions and nobody interferes in a set or in a rep that you do no one any workout you do so anyways imagine you're sitting there you're in your zone you're listening and he had his music in right so who if he could probably actually didn't hear him i listen to intense music so like he's in the zone he's got his music blaring pumping and he's going for that like you could see he did what like maybe six or seven or eight reps i, I didn't even count um and you know that last rep is hard it gets harder and harder and your body stiffens your body like that's when your body's shaking sometimes so you could be out of the loop man who knows and for him to put in his entire focus to lift up that bar and he's remembered those last eight times how much body like how he has to do it and then all of a sudden a driving force pushes that down on you out of the blue you're, you're not even ready for that Dude, he could have fucked up, and I, sorry, he could have messed up so much sh crap on him. It, it was ridiculous. So anyways, I think that was totally 100% unacceptable. If you agree with me, great. It makes sense. Um, if you agree with how I, you know, talked about things, great. But the other thing I just want to let you guys know, when I called the gym, it was four, or it was like maybe three o'clock the other morning, in the morning. I'm always up. I'm always working on things to like, I'm, I'm just constantly learning i think i'm gonna do a youtube video series of me saying hey guys this is what i want to learn here's some videos of me learning this stuff online because people a lot of people i think don't understand like you can learn things on but anyways that's something i'll get into my vlog video next week remind me if i don't make that vlog video but anyways guys um i called the gym three o'clock in the morning i looked online it was a 24 7 gym in quebec and i was like cool i called the first one and uh I, then I called the second one. I called the first one. They say, no, it's the other gym. Uh, they knew about the situation, uh, but they didn't know anything about like that, what happened to the guy. So I called them. I was like the hundredth plus person that day to call and bitch about it. Like, this is a big thing. Like, that reputation of that business is gone. Nobody's going to go there. Not, not one person. If they do, whatever. Um, so I called them and got the intel. <laughs> and what they said was the guy who pushed down on the... Uh, on the on the weights for the guy who's doing the deadlifts he is completely banned from all of their chains um, I don't think he's probably ever gonna be able to get into some gyms unless it's a private gym um, just like in someone's garage or whatever um, which sucks but what like that's what you deserve you deserve a lot more uh, I heard that he is he is filing assault charges I heard that the two employees who were watching the situation happen were fired immediately, which is great. So, you know, management and the ownership of the businesses, you know, a lot of people are going to not like that business for what happened. But that was just two, like me running a business I know very well, you know, two employees don't represent the entire business as a whole. You know, they're supposed to be trained and that's just like a morally thing to do. You do not stand there and watch one of your customers scream and yell at another one because they're customers there, right? They're either there to work out, but if you're the employee of the gym, they're your customers. You know what I mean? Like you got to make sure everything's clean for them. You got to make sure, you know, that you're selling them their drinks, you're getting them their sunglasses or your tanning glasses if there's a tanning bed, which is there is with mine. So like, you know, they're, they're, you're their customers. You never let your customers yell like that. That was a, like, yeah, I would fire them immediately too. No question about it um but yeah guys a little insane uh i hope you know everybody feels the same way let me know in the comment section below and uh this is cool because i feel like i got a lot of you guys talking to me on the actual video that you just watched in the comment section i'm actually the number one comment uh which is wild i've never done that on youtube and it's like 500 plus likes or whatever um lots of comments i keep my phones bu buzzing around where is my phone oh it's charging um nutty there's just like i've never seen this before so i was just like let me get in on this like let me show you guys you know what i'm actually thinking you can see me type it but here's what i'm actually thinking um so yeah cool very cool maybe we'll grow our channel this way and this is what i want to talk about these are the kind of things that i want to show you guys and talk to you guys about because we are all looking at all these online businesses that are coming and all these young kids who are becoming very very successful doing this and that and the other thing 
and it's all through social media and it's you got to catch the trend when it happens guys so if you see something happen write a comment right away make a video right away throw yourself out there and then your other videos that have sucked crap they won't suck crap anymore because people will watch them and for me as a business guy like running a business on this youtube channel you guys can check out what we do if you're canadian you know there's probably gonna be a lot of canadians on this because it's quebec so you know guys uh check out what we're doing with the telecommunication industry we're really changing it bell rogers all these guys they're not a big deal anymore uh worldwide television service check it out in the videos that i will probably throw here somewhere i could do that now because i can make youtube videos cool because i've been doing it for years uh, so check out the video somewhere uh thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed La leave that comment below let me know what your thoughts are um check out our other videos comment on uh everybody else you know let's make this a big forum page that's what youtube is it's kind of cool when you think about it you know you can talk through people and uh subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw i don't have many subscribers right now so i'd love to you know use this as an awesome opportunity to get some people who are interested in these kind of things like fitness and health you know i'm gonna be watching videos we'll probably you'll see what happens but anyways guys thank you so much and we will see you in the next video